Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this level 1 noob unlock the secret unit Ether Knight in Anime Defenders. Before we start, be sure to support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the Ether Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay guys, so every noob starts with this one, you will be given a free unit. And for our first unit, the Beast, epic, okay, so yeah. Guys, for me this one's a really good starting unit because of its AoE. So guys, at first I just want to just grind more gems to get units, but as you can see, I've noticed that you will only get like 50%, right? There you go, if you are less than level 10, so yeah. We are forced to grind story mode. So I also bought the two times earning VIP. And that's it. Let's head to the story mode, guys. What I noticed is the reward. Check it out. You can get seven lucky tickets for every stage. So guys, again, if you want to get the secret 100%, we need a total of, I think, uh, 2,000 spins. There you go. So we are VIP. So we need eight lucky tickets per spin. So again guys, our target is 16,000. So guys, I'm just gonna show you some of the bosses here. So we're gonna skip to wave 15. So there you go. For the first story mode, our first boss I think is this one. There you go. Can I show it to you? Yeah. There you go. This is our first boss. Iron Captain. So for my technique, uh, not nothing special. I'm just gonna keep on uh, upgrading the beast there you go so this is our first boss this game is really similar to all-star tower defense right so guys also every time i get the food i will feed it to the beast to increase its level so again my target is like get one or two units until we reach a specific uh story mode wherein it will give us lots of tickets right that's our goal you don't need to finish Full story mode now because again we only have I think seven days to get the secret unit right and we still need sixteen thousand tickets. So there you go. This is the second boss, Iron Book Pirate. I think we have a total of six stages plus the infinite mode, right? This one's the Lion Tamer boss. So again, Windmill Village is really easy. Again, for beginners like me, <laughs> is the best way to start the game. There you go. Okay, done with the Lion Tamer. Next up, we get the Bandit Giant Boss. So every stage gets harder. So make sure to always level up your units. Again, <laughs> that's an obvious. There you go. Next up, Bandit Master. So guys, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna show you all the stages. Okay. We're gonna fast forward this one go next up is clown pirate and it turned into a car clown pirate car version with 12 hp so it's the same i'm just gonna summon three or uh they'll deploy three of my units and haunted city is next there you go spurs i think the inspiration of this part of the story is from mob psycho right mob psycho first one is one piece Correct me if I'm wrong. Next up, Teleport, Esper. So guys, again, we're gonna fast forward this one. After this story mode, we're gonna fast forward to the final area where I grinded. Lucky tickets. And I'm gonna show you how many times did I finish the waves or the stages. This one, I think it's the boss, the Esper leader, and that's it. Okay guys, so in the end, for the uh, mission count, I'm gonna show it to you guys. For the Wind Village, 74 times. Haunted City, 83 times. Cursed Academy, 12 times. This area sucks. Blue Plants, good, 352 times. And Underwater Temple, 556 times. See the guys on Chapter 1. So that's a lot, guys. And this is the last uh, stage or chapter we're in. We reach our goal of 16,000 lucky tickets. So for my final units, we have two units. <laughs> A max level the beast and max level 70 chief of ice so i really like the chief of ice unit 
because of the high damage. But guys, spoiler alert, compared to the damage of the secret unit, this one is really weak. So guys, for my technique, I don't know if this really is effective, but I don't upgrade the, this units because of the duration of their attack. My target here is 3.4. See that guys? But if you upgrade it, it will turn to 6.4. So yeah, it's kind of slow. As you can see, wave 13 or 14, we have 24,000. And I'm not using it. Why? Because I'm gonna wait for the boss to appear and then check this out. Every time you upgrade your unit, it will be an automatic cooldown for its attack. So guys, I'm gonna show it to you. See the guys? There is the boss, Fishman boss. So check this out guys. Every time I upgrade, attack, upgrade, attack, upgrade, attack, upgrade, attack, upgrade, attack. See that guys? Instant finish. So one more time guys, that is where I get my final burst of damage. Again, for every unit you will attack 9 to 6 seconds but for this one, every time you unlock or I mean upgrade, it will attack. Okay? So that's my tip for you. There you go. We got 11 lucky tickets here. And finally guys, we have enough lucky tickets and let's summon. There you go guys. So we still have 13 hours left. But we have 16,000 tickets now. So we're gonna start spinning. Guys, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna show you the whole spin because it took me, I think, 40 minutes for that. Okay, we're gonna fast forward it. And, and for those first-time watchers here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, then use Star Code GamerNom. And fast forward, guys. So we still have remaining 3,377 luck tickets. Meaning we spent... 12,000 to 13,000 plus tickets to summon our target unit. Is that good? Uh, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe not. But yeah, it is a sure thing that we will summon it. This one, guys, the Either Knight. There you go. There are 200,000 existing so far. So, uh, I think that's still a lot. And we got lots of, uh, we call this Jade Fire Knight. <laughs> so if you want a Jade Fire Knight, if I can trade this, comment it at the comment section. And I will give it to you. Okay, guys. So, let's try it. There you go. You can also wear. There you go. Cosplay. <laughs> Your unit. And before we try this unit, we're going to use this one. We're going to max it out. Level 70, right? Target. Since we finished the stages. Go. Level 70. And let's try to reroll. We only have 18 reroll dices, so yeah, I need to find a way to get lots of this stuff. Plus the frost pine. Yeah, we need that one. So this is the best I think that we got. A plus cooldown. And I think that's the best. Yeah, we need to improve our grinding ability in this uh, aspect of the game. Okay, so let's try guys. First chapter of Swordsman Dojo. We haven't finished the last two stories yet. So guys, as you can see, this unit will only cost you 500 yen to summon or to deploy, which is really good. And guys, check that damage, 1,800. It's already stronger than the level 70 beast, guys. Max level. So this one's really strong. Again, this is a secret unit. There you go, guys. This one's really OP. And what I love with this is it's the cooldown, 3.2 seconds only. See that? So you need 950 yen to upgrade it. There you go. Check it out. Guys, this one will be really OP if AOE, right? Like uh, the whole dome of this range will be damaged, but no. So guys, upgrade two. Your attack will change into wind attack. Obviously, your damage, your range, and duration will increase. Oh, no, no. The duration will decrease from 3.9 to 3.6. So, we're going to fast forward it. There you go. So, this, I think, yeah. Next one is the Wind Flutter Bomb. The damage will increase to 8,900. That's a lot. There you go. Anyways, guys. To all the pros out there, what is the rank of this secret unit? 
comment comment section ether night so guys uh wave 12 we're almost done with this video so please make sure to like and subscribe next up wind gust release so is this the last attack let's check it out are we going to even reach max level here a max upgrade with this unit i don't know i'm not sure so okay we still have one wild wind explosion upgrade okay okay this one's good now check the the aoe range this is really big for the cooldown 6.7 not bad guys okay, so we're almost done wave 15 there's the boss the first boss oh. oh we still have one upgrade wind giant release and that's it okay guys so what do you think can you please give me a ranking of all the secrets and the mythics? Comment it in the comment section. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribe, supporters. Really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye bye.